Okay, hey guys, this is Curry once again with Cherish Relics Boutique. Um, it's been a few weeks since I've posted a video. I've been super busy up to some different things that I'd like to talk to you guys about today. And um, I'm going to get you guys to, you know, uh, watch me do some sorting because I have some um, organizing that I need to do for a couple things coming up. So, um, before I get started though, I just wanted to say hello to everyone. I hope everyone has uh, enjoyed their summer. We're coming to an end. I know, um, you know, my college kids are, I have two kids in college are getting ready to go back to school. And then I have one rising senior about to head um, their first day of school tomorrow. And so I can't believe the summer is already over. It was such a crazy summer traveling and all of that crazy stuff. Would love to hear in the chat of all the um, places you guys visited as well. Um, for those of you uh, that are, a visiting for the first time, my name is Curry, and this um, my YouTube channel is called Cherished Relics Boutique, and I mostly do jewelry unboxings and unbaggings and hauls on this um, YouTube channel. If there was any um, uh, item or piece of jewelry that you're like super, super interested in, um, you can always reach out to me um, about doing a private sale. Um, then that information will be in um, the description of this video. I'll also put it up here on the screen. Um, I'm gonna always be able to give you my best deals, um, uh, not on my other um, listing sites. I sell on um, eBay, uh, and I also sell on uh, district.net under the community Lily Works Jewels and Lots, which um, some of you may have heard uh, of Rachel with Lily Works because she's got an awesome YouTube channel that is actually one of the first YouTube channels that I um, came across when I first started doing videos and getting into jewelry. So I've actually, you know, learned so much from her over, you know, the last few years. And I actually have done a couple live sales, which have gone really well, and I've enjoyed them. So that's kind of the purpose for today's video is I wanted to... Um, uh, have, uh, you know, go through a whole bunch of jewelry to brooch sale. So anything brooch, uh, that I love that's at the level that I want to sell. Um, and, uh, you know, anything that matches the brooches, like any Demi Perure, any Demi Perure sets, all of the videos and things that I do on uh, district.net under, um, Uli Works Jewels and Lots. So, um, if, ne if, if, if you've never heard of District yet, um, it is, it's another selling platform that's kind of new and upcoming. And Rachel with Lily Works moved over there, um, I don't know, maybe six months ago, maybe a little bit longer, um, and started to, you know, um, create some communities. And she's got three communities, uh, over there on District. If you have an Apple device, you can actually get the app for District, um, which is what we're looking at here on my phone. But um, her main uh, page over there is Lily Works Jewelers and Lots, where she has the most um, fall, uh, listings and um, people who are in the community. But if you came over here and you wanted to be able to see some live streams, you just click here on live streams. And you've got all these sellers that have upcoming, and this is me right here, um, that have upcoming sales. Um, yeah, so I'm under the same exact name at District, um, Cherish Relics Boutique. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, today we're, we're going on a hunt. Uh, I'm also just trying to pull out, um, brooches and things like that. Um, anyways, I'm going to start actually with these. I had ordered for actually from another, um, from another seller at District. Her name is Teal Chickadee. Um, she's one of, uh, a seller on, um, district.net under that same community, but this was just a, a little brooch lot I had bid on. Um, and so again, we're going to go through this very quickly. I mean, I obviously will come across lots of animals and things like that, but not really what I'm looking for. Look at all these beautiful brooches, but I just don't remember. Now that was gorgeous. Oh my goodness see what brand that is. Uh, F-R-E-I-R-I-C-H. I don't know if that's French, but that brooch is beautiful. Definitely going to sell that one. That is a brooch. I got to bring that. That's beautiful, isn't it? But I'm literally going to 
gather all my brooches so I can see what the best stuff I have. <laughs> That's a cat. But so that goes in the brooch. There's a brooch. And there's a brooch. Look at that beautiful brooch. Beautiful. Brooch. I believe these are um, Boucher. Signed. There you go. Yep. We don't want to damage it. Lots of beautiful brooches. Another brooch. Isn't that one pretty? I showed that the other day in a, I think it's JJ. Oh, this way. JJ. What can we find? Look at that beautiful one. That also has a signature on it. Made in Austria. This is um, Bakelite brooch. Isn't that beautiful? Like a Damascene. The other. You can see um, my sorting that's happened so far. So I think I'm going to go ahead and sort through my stuff, which is a lot. I'm not going to sit you through that. But then maybe at the end, I can come back and show you some of the best stuff, which I think that would probably be more worthwhile. So we shall see you guys later. Okay. I clearly have a lot of brooches. And these are not little tubs. I mean, there's the size of my hand. Uh, so now I'm going to sort them into types of brooches, and then I will show you after what I came up with so I can show it to you in a faster way. Lots of excitement and lots of bling. Okay, hello, I'm back again. And just as I mentioned before, um, I was gonna gather all those things um, that were brooch related, but I found a ton of stuff. And in a very abbreviated version, I am going to um, show you the brooches in a very fast way. I did just do a live last night um, where I did all these brooch, um, I showed all these brooches uh, for a live sale. Um, and, uh, you know, I've only done a few lives, so I'm just, you know, getting the hang of that. Um, but you can view that under my lives um, on my channel if you're interested. Um, so, uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and as quickly as I can, because these are all in little baggies because they were put together like this for, um, you know, people who had bought. Um, I'm going to, uh, you know, show them to you real quick. And I'm also going to turn this down so that we can get a closer look at the jewelry. Anyways, I'm gonna show these very fast. A lot of these were little lots that I had sold, uh, but, um, so this was a made in Austria, beautiful prong set um, brooch. It was um, marked with made in Austria it's very obvious. It's written right there. It just says Austria, if you could see it. <laughs> Anyways, a beautiful, stunning brooch, very unique. This one was a less expensive, uh, you know, just glued down prong um, setting. There you go. Here's an enameled um, faux pearl uh, brooch as well. I'm going to move along very fast because I have a lot to show you. And then, then there was this little brooch with, um, you know, faux turquoise there. Okay, this is a really pretty Nemi Perure set by um, the, the company uh, Lester. And it is gold filled. You can see it there. It's meant to have some more of a matted texture in the center with more shiny on the outside. You can see that the earrings also have that same look to them. So these are faux, faux pearls, but in excellent condition. This is actually a pretty valuable um, demi pure set. Okay, this is not prong set, but a beautiful rhinestone encrusted, um, you know, uh, brooch. Very beautiful, very sparkly. It does not have a brand on it. Um, but 
Yeah, so there's that brooch. Very pretty. These beautiful enameled snowmen. Looking so cool. No brand on that. This is a pretty cool one. The sleigh with the, you know, mixed metal um, little presents up there on the sleigh. Made in Mexico. And it looks like it can also be a pendant. And then you have this cute little reticulated antique Santa. Um, beautiful enameled. Um, kind of like a bouquet of flowers. There's the back. No brand. Here we have a more, um, this has definitely shown some more wear, an enameled, beautiful little simple sort of daisy style brooch. And then we have this textured, um, you know, rhinestone accented sort of wreath brooch. None of those have brands on them. This is a beautiful um, sort of um, amber colored rhinestone flower brooch that someone had won. There's the back. Oh, this is a beautiful set, um, partially hand painted over sort of a, a, a ceramic or, um, you know, uh, oval um, ceramic piece with, uh, you know, we've got sort of a scalloped uh, bez open work bezel setting there. We have this um, circle uh, um, faux pearl kind of gold tone uh, brooch there. And this looks like it's missing a stone. So I'll have to go back and add a stone there for that buyer. And then, um, cause they just pop out so easily. And then we've got this little twisty thing going on there. This is a beautiful kind of dimensional. You can see the height. Got a little bit of wear on the edges, but that just means it's been pre-loved. This beautiful gold tone textured rose brooch. And it does have a brand on it that um, we can view there. I believe it's Sarah Coventry. So that's where you see it, Sarah Coventry. So there's that brooch. Beautiful, a second one. This I had another one that had more blue tones, but sort of enamel uh, brooch that kind of gives you the bouquet look. This is an authentic pearl on a textured kind of leaf gold tone brooch, looking like that. And then we've got this um, more muted textured um, kind of leaf brooch with that center um, amber colored rhinestone has five brooches in it, the first of which is probably my favorite. Um, this is signed JJ right here in the corner. You can see the back. It's got these reticulating ears that can turn, you know, like his little ear can sit on the front of him like that, just depending on, you know, how he's moving. He's so cute, pretty valuable actually. Also in that lot was this really beautiful um, Hetty Hedison, um, enameled kind of uh, Dotson brooch with his cute little red eyes. There's a mark there for Hetty Hedison. Comes with these quirky teeny little brooches. This looks like he's got a party hat on. Very cute little dog brooch. This one is definitely older. It's meant to look like those have gold tone rhinestones, but really they're just emptied out discs that have the look of rhinestones although they're not very old. And then the last brooch is a gold tone poodle here, thinking he's just all that and then some. Poodles definitely carry themselves a certain way, very cute. Uh, this set had four brooches in it, a Monet circle brooch that was silver tone, a Monet circle brooch that was gold tone, you can see Mark there, has definitely had a little bit of wear. This is actually um, on uh, probably Mother of Pearl or Abalone where it's got sort of a, a, a texture over it on that open work, um, you know, frame around it. And then this is definitely a, a loose side or acrylic um, stone there in that little simple brooch. When I put these brooches together, I really tried to make them somewhat coordinate with each other somewhat. This is very um, cool brooch. It actually, this is some sort of um, resin or something, and those are like dried flowers that have been put in there. That's not painted on there. As well as this, um, it's got a mother of pearl um, inlay there uh, with some black enameling. That's definitely more of an art deco look. And this double circle um, brooch here, no, no brand on it. If you can see this, I have an entire tub, all of this, full I brought to auction. 
So you see what I mean when I say I want to uh, move through it quickly. Um, I do want to move through it quickly. So let me just grab a handful. These have um, faceted uh, plastic um, rhinestones on it, but it's still a pretty brooch. Very simple. It looks like it also uh, could be a hairpin. And this brooch was phenomenal. Look at how beautiful this is. But um, yeah, look at that beautiful brooch. Isn't that lovely? And that's what the back looks like. So this is faux pearls, um, sort of a touch of rose gold um, tone to it. Um, that is the back. It does not have a brand, but it's in great condition. This one's gorgeous. Um, you know, got um, some prong set um, rhinestones all in there. Again, sort of a rose gold uh, tone to it. It looks in pretty good condition. And this is a really lovely, definitely vintage showing its age and dirt, um, beautiful enameled um, rose brooch there. And I'm showing them to you super fast, much different than when I did it on the live show. I moved much slower. This is actually a pendant. It's not a brooch. I just somehow it was in this bag. It's on shell, as you can see, with a really pretty uh, picture on there. But it just went with kind of the vibe of these other things that I put together. This is a really huge brooch. I tried to look it up on uh, Google Lens and really couldn't find anything on it, but that was cool. Um, this group also had this really cool uh, enameled bird in it, but these last two pieces in this set were actually signed. This was signed um, Monet, I believe, on this one. Yes, Monet in excellent condition, sort of that ombre, pave set rhinestones for that pair. And then this other brooch that came with it was this textured apple and it was Avon and it is in excellent condition, hasn't lost any of its gold tone. So this first brooch is just a leaf brooch textured. Um, also, I wanna say, if you come and you wanna watch any of the lives, you can go in and view all the old lives by going to live streams and you just scroll back and there's hundreds of videos that you can watch live um, you know, sales on, but then there's upcoming live programs. If you want to participate in any live auctions, it's really quite fun. A lot of the pieces are not like massively expensive, but you, um, just have to enter your, uh, you know, credit card information one time, and then it's already in the system. And then anytime you go in there and you want to bid, then you, the bid, uh, button is available to you, uh, to participate in that. But it's fun to go to those lives because a lot of people get together and just talk in the chats and, um, things like that. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Okay, so um, yes, that's the silver tone leaf brooch. Also uh, had this really big statement, kind of matte silver tone, um, larger brooch that came with that little lot that I offered as well as this silver tone smaller brooch leaves. Um, these are beautiful um, hand, this one's hand painted um, sort of metal brooch. You can see it's painted over metal here. If you look really close. Um, but it is just beautiful. I just love the vintage-ness um of that. That's very cute. We also have this, um, you know, we have like an acrylic um, faux stone there that's prong set um, with this beautiful swan that's also been um, hand-painted. Um, and it is a prong set, um, faceted, uh, really gorgeous, um, you know, uh, vintage brooch with all those rivets. You can just tell the quality of that. It's very well made. Um, this was a really beautiful artisan made um, uh, sterling silver uh, brooch. You can see very artistic. Um, not quite sure of which stone that is, but it does actually come up to, um, you know, like the jade part on my um, on my tester, uh, my um, uh, Presidium gem tester. But I don't know what dark blue stone would come up that high, because like even jade. I think you can somewhat see through. So I'm really confused about what stone that is. It doesn't have gold specks in it. It's not lapis lazuli as far as I know, and it does not look like sodalite, which often would have some white, uh, you know, things in there as well. But that is a 925 brooch, quite lovely. Italian glass made micro mosaic, a mandolin. Uh, when you find these out and you're doing your thrifting and searching, and if you can find ones that haven't lost any of its um, glass yet, you know, definitely pick those up. 
Um, once the glass is lost, they're hard to repair because you have to be able to find pieces that fit just so in there. Um, and you'd have to find pieces from another one that was broken. Um, but that was a really beautiful um, vintage piece. Oh, let me show you the back. Often these um, authentic micro mosaics uh, items um, will often say Italy on the back because obviously that's where Murano glass is. Um, these are actually really valuable, probably at least worth about $70 total um, uh, when I do my Google search on them. But they have these really cute um, red eyes. Look at his little hairy, uh, like feathered head. And they're doing, they're both running a different pace or whatever. But you can see on the back, um, they both actually say um, Boucher right there. This one as well. So that was a really nice set. I believe they are Avon. They are just cute, cute, cute. Avon, you can see right there. But look, these are a set of uh, scatter pins and these little mice, these little gold tone mice, their um, glasses actually move. They like reticulate. You can put them up there like he's reading and you can put them up above his head or there like he's reading or down on his nose. You can move them. They're very cute. This was a really cute set. Okay, this is a gorgeous set. Um, it is a Weiss um, uh, black faceted rhinestone. You can see the name Weiss is on the back. These are in excellent condition, but you have a set of clip-on um, black faceted stone earrings. And then this is the brooch, also Weiss. And you can see it's got sort of those little seed bead, the little accents on it. And then these also have them uh, along the edge and things like that. So, but they are a set that goes together. Um, but these are gold tone floral brooches that I kind of brought together as a you buyer's choice where they got to pick one. Um, and you know, there was a row, Sarah Coventry. All of three of these are um, signed Sarah Coventry. You can see right there on the bar, and then this one signed Sarah right there. This beautiful um, statement brooch with um, matted gold tone is what the back's looking like. It's pretty significant. You can see the size of my hand. You have this prong set with green um, rhinestones, sort of a leaf floral brooch there, no brand, and then more of a modernist um, gold tone textured brooch there as well. And this particular theme is an ocean theme. This is for all four of these brooches. We have um, these cute little uh, dolphins there and um, uh, this little pin that's a little crab with a shell. And then these last two pins are actual jelly bellies, definitely more valuable. This is um, uh, called um, uh, opal glass or people call it opalite. Um, there's also some opal, opal glass up on the arms, but these actually have some value. They're um, pretty nice brooches um, there, but there's no brand on this. The whole thing is Monet brooches. So an excellent condition. They're all um, having the Monet um, maker's mark on all of them. So some really lovely Monet brooches that I found in my collection. All of them are marked, as you see, and in pretty fabulous condition. Mm, I love the sparkly strawberry. Super cute. Mm, this is one of my favorite ones. They're all marked, like I said, Monet. Okay, this was a, a lot of three. Um, you see how I'm trying to coordinate them to kind of make them kind of go together? This is um, acrylic, you know, uh, oval cobachon. Um, this is more like a, a cloisonne um, enameled kind of uh, brooch there um, and a wreath textured um, kind of leaf wreath brooch there. Uh, yeah, this was a beautiful um, uh, Giyoshi, uh just rose pin here. 
Kiyoshi is that um, technique that's used when um, it, it, you can see behind there, kind of inside under the um, face of this brooch is little kind of wavy designs. And that just adds a texture to the background of uh, that jewelry, that style. So it's called Giyoshi. I guess that's French. I don't know. Two. There should be two of these. I don't know. The other one must have fallen out of the bag. But I have two of them somewhere. Let's see if I can find the other one. Here they are. I really should probably uh, give send these to my nieces. They're both like really, really talented dancers. They've danced their whole lives. They would probably love those. Look at this cool little guy. Wow. Our little reticulated um, lizard here. Isn't he cute? So you can see he's made like that. This is the back of him. He's got pretty um, prong set little jeweled eyes. He's just a really cool brooch. This is not broken here. This is just the way that they um, had one like just end so that they could start to make the tail skinnier and skinnier. They did it again there, they did it again there. It was just the way that they did that. But he's a really cool dude. Some more really lovely non-prong set blingy jewelry. Pretty, pretty. This is one of my favorites. It's not prong set, but it's just very well done. I like that open work about it. This is faux pearl um, kind of wreath circle brooch there with sort of a filigree-ish open work um, outer um, you know, framing to the brooch. This is actually a really lovely brooch and when tested on my uh, gem tester, it does chest as like a nephrite jade falls in that range. It's really heavy. This is a really well-made well -made brooch with the um, mark E-L on the back or it might be E capital I, I'm not sure. And then this is an older brooch, some type of crest, obviously, with a lion, um, another um, gold tone textured um, asymmetrical brooch. We have an enameled um, tan brooch here, as well as these are um, actual authentic pearl on that textured leaf brooch, all with no brand. This one is just super cute, little poodle, um, rhinestone prong set um you know it's even got sort of the cupcake prong setting there um a little cute poodle brooch and this is what the back looks like cute cute these are actually glass um yeah that one just needs to be glued back in but anyways here we have um a faceted um beautiful uh blue kind of star brooch um, and these are also um, glass faceted stones there on this um, gold tone leaf brooch and a beautiful kind of bezel set um, clear rhinestone more art deco style I hope you're enjoying the brooch bonanza let me know in the chat if you have any favorites or if you have some of the brooches that I've pulled out here so we have here um, you know, these were multiple of these sort of um, uh, seed bead, um, you know, uh, brooches that were made. They're very, they're definitely vintage. They all are leather backed. Um, and then it also came with uh, this leather um, back brooch as well that was more of a, um, using more of those glass tube beads. Um, this is a set of brooches that I showed last night. This larger brooch um, actually uh, prong set with, um, yeah, those are glass rhinestone. Um, this is actually sterling. It does have the mark for um, sterling right there in uh, the center right there where it says sterling. Um, so obviously a, uh, you know, um, yeah, so with the gold uh, tone over there, it actually is a gold, um, you know, uh, layering it's got a gold layering over it so that's known as vermeil when you have that over a silver a sterling silver piece um here we have some more prong set uh, jewels there in this um, floral brooch and then those are authentic pearls 
very pretty um, in this little leaf brooch. So I had offered this all five of these vintage um, brooches. Look at these cute little mesh hats. This whole theme of this was sort of like lady, you know, um, a little neat little metal uh, brooch there and this enameled lady kind of looking away. She's cute, there's the back. And it also came with this, um, you know, uh, gold uh, rhinestone kind of buckled shoe. Okay, this is a sterling silver uh, dogwood, really, really beautiful um, uh, pin. Uh, it's about the size of a quarter. Um, and there on the back, it's hard for you to see, but it does have marks for um, sterling there on the back. So that's that little magnolia pin. Another set here, um, this is an Avon set, brand new um, set of these kind of paisley colorful textured gold tone um, brooch and earrings that are, you know, basically brand new without tags. Um, that, you know, kind of cameo style. This is not authentic shell, which true cameos are real shell. This is faux, but it does have a very nice open work kind of filigree frame around her. A beautiful kind of circle brooch that's just kind of rope wrapped. And then this beautiful, um, again, hand painted um, sort of ceramic oval uh, set kind of in that um, scalloped bezel setting there. This was actually a Damascene um, style brooch there, which I think is like, I guess the style of Damascene is kind of that gold and black um, kind of style that you can see. I have another uh, brooch in here that I'll show you as well. Um, these are faux pearls, um, no brand, but these are, I guess, typically Spanish. This is a sterling silver, um, beautiful uh, marcasite. Um, little bow, very dainty, very my style. And I've also acid tested this, shows 925 right there. But isn't that pretty? Very pretty. This was a really cool bird um, kind of uh, lot I brought that was giving people the option to pick um, birds from each uh, column. So my nicest column involved these three brooches so they could pick one from the first column. So we had this a, you know, colorful rhinestone um, uh, encrusted, um, you know, peacock there, as well as this, this is actually signed Anne Klein, a newer brooch. Yeah, so he sort of has an enameled salmon color or a coral color, peach, whatever you want to call it. He's um, got lots of really beautiful um, stones on, um, you know, rhinestones on him. And then the other really nice brooch that I was offering was this more antique brooch that I got in an antique store um, that is an enameled, much older um, bird brooch. And then in the second column, they were able to pick. So then in the second column, we have these birds. This is an enameled kind of, I guess like a hummingbird with like a hematite um, cobachon there. Um, and then we also had this really pretty um, bird with these pretty teal colors or this enameled bird, um, kind of that light blue, kind of grayish. Um, those are not marcasites in there. Those are just little dots of metal that kind of give that look, uh, but it does have rhinestones in there. And then the last column option they had was um, this beautiful um, etched uh, and textured um, bird there, or I guess this looks like a hummingbird with his little green eye. This one has a red eye, or they could have chosen um, this uh, um, cloisonne bird pin. So these were some lovely uh, silver tone um, brooches here. This one in particular, when I looked it up on a Google search, it was actually, you know, quite valuable, like in the realm of um, $45 comps I could find. It does not have a brand, but it is really well made. We had this sort of, um, you know, pinwheel kind of leaf textured brooch there. And this one's a really pretty one. It, you know, is decorated there with some rhinestones. And I love the way those faux pearls are different colors creating those uh, flower shapes. And it's kind of got some dimension to it as well. I actually have four of these, but they're all brand new Avon um, tree brooches there. Great gifts for um, Christmas time or winter because um, they're not specifically Christmas trees, I guess. Um, we have this really pretty, um, 
you know, sort of pin, uh, poinsettia brooch there, um, a little reticulating bell brooch, and a enameled, um, you know, a stocking one, as well as this stocking one, another bell brooch with some, a little bit of reticulation there. Um, we have a, um, a candy cane and a little reindeer in this group. This cute little pin um, with little rhinestone and faux pearl accent. I did throw a few cool little mixed metal um, angels in here. Uh, and here's another angel, enameled angel. This is a really cute, um, you know, winter um, snowman uh, brooch there and a reticulating um, bell. Uh, a little sleigh uh, in kind of antique bronze, as well as a snowman and another textured um, uh, stocking brooch there. Wow, look at this stunner. Isn't it just exceptional? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm about to get, you know, some of these more pricier um, things that I brought to um, auction. I'm going to get them listed up on eBay soon. Really beautiful. Um, you know, uh, abalone inlaid 925 um, Taxco. You can see the, sorry, mark back there. It, um, these are actually, I can't believe I just dropped it. They're really um, quite fragile because you can crack the inlay. But if you look really close there, um, it does in fact say Taxco. Come on, right there uh, under where it had 925. Here is another example of the Damascene uh, style uh, in kind of that black and gold. Here it had a beautiful um, bird and uh, flower brooch there. Had a trombone clasp there, which is pretty cool because it works like that. You slide the um, clasp part in and then this pushes over and kind of closes on top of it and keeps it shut. That's pretty cool. Um, with this cute little, it kind of has the texture of like a, you know, a coaster that you put uh, your drink on that, you know, is kind of like the ones that soak up all the moisture. That's what it feels like anyhow. This is a much older um, metal western um, brooch. You can see it's got an older style clasp there. And then I had a cloisonne cactus that was kind of groovy. This was a set uh, of buyer's choice option of Sarah Coventry um, brooches. Let me get this to focus. There we go. Much better. Um, they are all um, marked with um, marks for Sarah Coventry. I don't know why it doesn't want to focus well for me. Um, then we had this uh, sort of um, abstracty kind of circular brooch again marked with Sarah Coventry there and then this was sort of a gold and silver tone um, more abstract there as well marked right there with the brand I believe that this is um, an Austrian um, you can see it right here let me see if I can bring it in front of my if it will bring it closer it just says made in Austria Oh, there you go. You can see it now. Okay. But um, a really beautiful sparkly brooch. Uh, and, you know, it's got some height to it. I love the way all those are kind of set up on little crowns. That's a pretty brooch. We had this beautiful um, uh, glass faceted rhinestone blue brooch here. I actually found a comp on this one with the clear stones, but looked exactly the same in the back with all those rivets on the outside. Um, but that's a really beautiful sparkly brooch. Uh, set here of this uh, strawberry. Uh, I think this is Sarah Coventry. Yes, this is also Sarah Coventry, but we had um, you know matching earrings that were clipped back and it's all in just like brand new condition. Really lovely. This is also Austrian crystal, um, and you can see right there in Austria, and these are all prong set with those little uh, rosettes there. This one's an, an enameled sort of bow, uh, you know, sort of an acrylic uh, 
cobachon with sort of a scallop setting there, a little open work filigree frame, another acrylic cobachon setting, all gold tone. Um, we have this etched, um, you know, sort of floral framed uh, brooch there. This is a beautiful um, enameled on copper um, pin that um, just has some beautiful colors. It, honestly, I look at it, it makes me think of a caterpillar as I look at it right there. Maybe it's because I have bugs on my brain. And then this really beautiful, I think it's called an ammonite um, fossil uh, brooch there that is pretty darn cool. Okay, this is a just beautiful, look at those pearls. They're real pearls, um, just so uh, lustrous. Uh, and this is in fact a sterling um, pin that's marked back there in excellent condition. Someone had mentioned to me this looks like peas in the pod, which is true, I love it because actually there's five people in my family. And I think this is a brooch I may end up keeping for that exact reason. Um, look at this stunner, very, very sparkly, prong set, um, gold tone. It's also got prong sets all along the edging and you can see how those um, smaller prong set ones kind of wrap around the side. And then this is the back of that circle brooch, just really, really stunning. Okay, I believe that this is Vandell because on the back um, where it has the mark for um, gold filled, it has a capital V and a capital D periods. I think that stands for Vandell. Uh, these are not rhinestones. I'm sorry, these are not gemstones. They are just colored, multicolored rhinestone glass faceted stones that are prong set, but it's still very lovely. And I actually really love this brooch. This is not a real cameo. This is not on shell, it's faux, but I love the framing around the beautiful birds on the branches. You can see um, if you look uh, here that, you know, my you know, my logo for my business is birds on a branch. So uh, I always love the, um, uh, I just love birds. They're, I think they're cool. So we got that. And um, this is just a faux um, oval pearl cobachon with a um, sort of a floral uh, open work uh, framing around that brooch. And then this one's really lovely. We've got some textured um, circular, uh, rings uh, together like it's almost like means eternity and you've got these really beautiful um, more like uh, faceted stones kind of in the pastel arena so that was a nice set this is a stunning very very old uh, sterling silver um, vermeil because you can see the gold in there um, uh, you know filigree um, brooch just really really beautiful no marks for sterling but i have tested it and it in fact definitely is sterling um crown trafari uh grouping of brooches that i brought um part of them were silver part of them were gold they were all marked in beautiful condition we've got this beautiful textured magnolia uh brooch uh again you can see our mark for crown trafari here this sort of leaf open uh, work brooch that's much bigger than the magnolia you can see in size. And then we had this um, textured sort of um, abstract, uh, you know, asymmetrical kind of brooch there. We have another magnolia style brooch with some matte gold tone. Again, you can see our mark for Crown Trafari right there. And another one with two tones of silver um, Crown Trafari as well. These are all in great condition. And then this great one that kind of is like these little like banners that cross over each other. Almost, I only got like about five left. And uh, yeah, we'll be calling it a day for today's video, but I appreciate you guys coming to watch. These are all prong set um, rhinestones, sort of this little small uh, uh, kind of starburst effect. It's about the size of a quarter. You can see um, it is made with rivets uh, and just very quality made and you can see kind of the, the depth um, that it brings to when you're looking at all those rhinestones. There's this um, black faceted um, rhinestone brooch. You can see the back here um, that, you know, had sort of these textured leaves as part of it. I don't often see black brooches, so I thought that was pretty unique. When I did a Google uh, lens search on this, I found this exact brooch and it showed up as like a showed up as real coral for like 45 or $50 for a cost. But to me, it definitely looks old, 
but I didn't know that it felt real. Like, what do I know? I don't know, but it just seems like it would be carved. Um, it definitely isn't carved cinnabar or anything. It's definitely in the coral, meant to be either faux coral or um, maybe authentic, I don't know. Someone passed up an opportunity there. This is sort of a glass, um, you know, uh, uh, oval shaped um, picture put into this frame, framed brooch there showing the age. And then we have some opal light or opal glass, which is not opal. It's like one that kind of gives that sort of um, luminance, like, or the way that the light shines um, through there, uh, kind of textured um, brooch there. Loved the AB um, crystals here of this, um, more like these were red uh, stones that had an AB coating. They might even be like fuchsia pink stones, just really pretty. Um, on there. Uh, this reminds me of a hat, but I guess it's just supposed to be some circular uh, leaf brooch, but I thought that was quite lovely. They are all prong set if you look closely there. They're not like glued in or anything. And then we have here um, a really beautiful um, made in uh, uh, Italy. You can see it there, made in Italy. That sort of um, embossed markings on the back. This is another micro mosaic, just stunning rectangular brooch. It doesn't have any um, damage on it. Like it's not, hasn't lost any of that beautiful um, Italian um, micro mosaic glass. So that was a pretty piece I brought last night. Rhinestone accented. This is an authentic pearl there on that one. No brand. A little starburst brooch with a purple center rhinestone. Um, the couple marcasites on the outside, um, no brand on that either, and sort of a wreath faux pearl um, circle brooch there. Actually, it was a pretty unique um, a 925 uh, etched um, uh, grizzly bear um, brooch. Uh, if you look here on the back, it says DY. I'm not, I assume that doesn't mean David Yerman. Uh, I don't know what else that could mean, but it does have the word sterling there but he's a pretty cool um, brooch that I also brought as well. Brings us to an end of all of those, um, you know, sort of brooches. But thanks for coming back and um, watching. I just figured once I started digging through all that, I thought this isn't gonna make a good video because it's me just really quickly going through jewelry, which is what I did here, but at least it was the, the things that I found that were what I was looking for. So you guys have a great day. Um, again, uh, you know, if this is content you enjoy, please go to um, my page in uh, here at the end of the video. There's also an opportunity there to follow um, my channel. I thank you for all your support and I hope you guys have a great day. Take care. Bye from Cherished Relics Boutique.